Hello, my name is Dr. Tin Tran. I am with Nyanwa Clinic. Um, today I have some information to um, give you instruction how to do um, a stool test. The stool test, uh, you may know that uh, your provider may give you a stool test kit, and that is for screening of colon cancer. Some of you may choose to do colonoscopy, which can be good for three, five, seven to 10 years. Uh, but if you choose to do the stool, cat, uh, uh, stool test, your doctor will give you um, a stool kit. Uh, just like this, if your insurance requires uh, you to use lab, lab corp, uh, which is different labs, so this is a test kit of lab corp. In this package, you will find um, your private information, label everything. You don't have to do anything, and you don't have to remove anything. All you have to do is to use this uh, container and make sure you have this. So uh, in the morning, when you go and do your business number two, um, to do it correctly, you have to put this paper in the toilet and then use the stick like this and touch in the toilet, touch the stool, and then get a little bit of a sample and then put it back. But I find that many patients um, could not do that. So I suggest that at least uh, maybe when you go and clean yourself, you're done, and you clean yourself and you have a little bit of stool sample on the tissue paper, I think uh, the purpose is to get a little sample. So however you do, if you can do it correctly, the way that the instruction give you, that would be great. If not, just get a little bit, teeny bit of sample and then put it on here. On container, this container, you, uh, there will be label already there. If it asks you to put your name, the day that you, it is important to put on the day that you collect the sample. Uh, after that, you uh, put it in here and then put it in the bag in here and zip zip it back like that and then put it back in the envelope and you peel this off when you peel this off this one is sticky then you can seal it when you seal it you can bring it back to the clinic or you can drop in the mailbox but the important is to do it in the morning when you go and then drop it in the mailbox or bring it into the clinic. Um, the same day will be great or the next day. Don't wait two, three, four, five days. Some we receive some sample that is like a week old. Then the test is, you cannot run the test if it's too long. Now, you don't have to put a stem on this. Um, if your insurance requires you to have the test kit from uh, Quest Lab, and it will look like this with the yellow envelope inside, and inside the envelope, you will find something like this. So, for this lab, you will take this out. This one comes from a larger paper. Make sure you put your name, day of birth, and the day that you collect the sample. The most important thing is that you have two brushes. And like the other one, after you, uh, in the morning, uh, after you go number two, you're done with your business. Like I, like I said, to do it properly, you drop this in the toilet, and then you go on it, and then use this to touch these two samples. But a lot of patients cannot do that. So they go, they do their business, and then they clean themselves with the tissue paper. Then you touch the stool. You don't have to get much, just you touch it. And then this is the actual um, uh, test here. You don't open here, do not open. In the front, you open from here. Two uh, small white windows. You open it up. 
do not open here. Right here or here. If you open, you ruin the test. The test is not good anymore. So when you open it up and you touch, get a little sample, you put like that in the window number one. And you throw this away, you get this second clean uh, brush, then you touch. It's too simple again. And put in in the second windows. You're done with that. You put it back. Take this label with your name, day of birth, and date that you collect the sample. And then seal it over like that. Uh, don't remove any paper. Don't remove label in here. The nurse already prepared everything for you. All you have to do is to get a little bit of sample in here. Then you put it back in here. Remember, this envelope has two pockets. So one has label. So this two sample, you put it in another pocket here. Like that. You seal it. Then you roll it, make it smaller. You put it in here. Like that. Then you seal it. This one you may have to use a little bit of water and then seal it back. Then it will look like this. You can bring it in to the clinic or you can drop it in the mailbox. You don't have to put stamp. And remember, the important thing is to get the sample in the morning when you go. And then bring it in or drop in the mailbox the same day. Don't leave it two, three, four, five days. It's then the test is not correct. So uh, if you have questions, you can read the instruction in here, but the instruction is very detailed, and you may get confused. The whole purpose is to get a little bit of sample, stool sample, on the paper, the test kit, and then bring it to us. We do that. If you do this, if you choose to do this, you need to do it once a year, and your provider would work with you and they will give you when the time comes. Thank you for coming to Yanoa Clinic to receive medical care from the clinic. If you have any questions, um, you can call the clinic or uh, there should be a pamphlet with the scan code and you can use the camera and uh, screen uh, on the code and it would bring you to the instruction of this video. Again, thank you.